Just try to reinvent the strawberry dress, I don't know. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jenny Dame and welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to make the most fabulous 2023 version of the strawberry dress. So how this idea of this project came about, I had last year I had made the beautiful Serena. If I'm sure you already know who she is. She's an incredible seamstress and vintage enthusiast and I love all of her projects. Um, please definitely give her a follow if you're not already following her. <laughs> um, I had made her a hand-painted elephant skirt which I get so happy when I see her wearing it because it fits her perfectly and especially with her elephant wallpaper. It looks so cute. She had made me this beautiful pillbox style hat and it's beautifully done, folded, beautifully lined, and it has her signature here. So this is extremely special to me and I didn't want to just wear it with any outfit. I wanted to make an outfit that would complement it and that would go perfectly with the color scheme. And I just so happened to come across this Pinterest image of a paper doll outfit and I thought oh my god like this matches the color scheme <laughs> and instead of the flowers I thought I would match Serena's strawberries and I would paint strawberries where the flowers would be. So all the stars aligned to make that outfit to complement this beautiful hat and I finally have the time to make a personal outfit. <laughs> so I use Simplicity 3397 a vintage pattern and I thought this shape of the bodice was extremely close to the image of the paper doll and I just didn't include the sleeves. So we have everything. We have the pattern, the fabric, pattern, fabric, materials, uh, good old motivation. <laughs> All right, so we have everything. Let's, let's get started. First thing I do in all of my projects is I complete the bodice first. I add the darts and the back panels and I try it on backwards so I can do any nitpicking to make sure it fits me perfectly. I did the same thing with the skirt and when I first made it, it was really big on me and I had to do a lot of alterations. Like you see here, it was really loose. I could kind of swing it around if I wanted to, but I was able to uh, trim it down and so it fit on my dress form so I knew it would fit me. I then pin the bodice of the skirt together, and then here's some zipper action. And I love that sound. And here I just wanted to show how close I got the seams to match, which rarely happens. Here it is complete. I just wanted to show a 360 twirl. There it is. I want to say this fabric is so much better than what I initially bought. I bought 100% cotton, and as soon as I moved it, it just wrinkled. <laughs> so. Um, but this is perfect. I've been, I haven't ironed it at all and it's still very clean and I'm definitely going to give it a press before I, you know, wear it. So, um, I want to work on the placement of the green strip on the mannequin just so it doesn't scrunch up or shrink while I'm, um, putting it on. So I bought this green velvet trim on Amazon. I have like a pretty good amount of it too so if I have leftover maybe I can use it for another project. Here I was trying to decide whether I should use the full width of the velvet trim or should I fold it in half. I asked my boyfriend and my mom and they both agreed to fold it in half and it's always great to get a second opinion because they could see something that you can't. Here it is pinned together with the folded green trim. I forgot to film me hand stitching it, so here is a video of my boyfriend trying to tip the cowboy hat on our new Romero pillow, and then he tried to catch it. <laughs> We've been binned watching Yellowstone, so he has a habit of wearing his hat while he watches. It's, it's really cute. <laughs> And for the attached skirt, all I did was zigzag stitch a rectangle panel and then I hot glued down the green trim to the ruffles and it surprisingly worked really well. 
On to the strawberries. I made a template of a strawberry so it would be easy to repeat the pattern. I added it to the front of the bodice and then down the sides of the skirt. I first painted it in white that way the red would pop more from having a white background instead of it being just the pink. I tried my hardest to do a very basic color shading because I didn't want this to take a lot of time so I added just enough highlight and a little bit of dark shading to the strawberries and then I went in with a shimmery paint and I made that for the seeds. So I couldn't help myself and I added just a little more highlight to the strawberries to make them pop. With the strawberries complete, there was the last thing to do was to hem the skirt and my boss let me know it was time for snacks. <laughs> Here I am hemming the attached skirt. I went ahead and shortened the dress a little, so I'm just trying to make sure the hems match. Now that the dress is complete, it's time to add accessories. Isn't this so lucky? I found a vintage strawberry bracelet on Etsy. As soon as I saw it, I snatched it up. It is so cute. It could not be more perfect for this outfit. This pink and ruby sparkle earrings were thrifted and they cost a total of $3. And of course, this beautiful hat made by Serena. Let's just take another look and see all its glory. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked how the dress turned out. I'm so happy how everything turned out. It's been a very long time since I've had like a successful project and I can't wait for it to be warm and have somewhere to go and, and wear this because right now it's raining outside and really cold. Hope I get to wear it again soon and then I definitely want to do a photo shoot in this because it's it's too pretty. Also, if you want to know how I did my hair, I made a YouTube tutorial. I did the exact same steps, so please, uh, so give that a watch if you want to know how I achieved these curls. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. <laughs> it would mean so much to me. I just want to keep creating and bring you along with me. So I hope you have a great day. Bye. <laughs>